Hi, I'm Tony Zielinski. I'm the tuba professor at Capital University in Columbus, Ohio, and I'd like to welcome you to our series of videos about my favorite instrument, the tuba. Uh, we're going to get a chance to talk about all kinds of different tubas, but before we get too far, make sure that you click the like and subscribe buttons so you can stay on top of when these videos come out. As I said, I'm the tuba professor at Capital University. I just finished my 20th year of teaching there. Uh, I am also the principal tuba in the Newark Granville Symphony Orchestra. I play B flat and E flat tuba in the Brass Band of Columbus. And I also play sousaphone as the bass in the New Orleans style funk band, the New Basics Brass Band right here in town. So I've had the opportunity in my career to play the tuba in many different settings, classical, popular, jazz, and hope to bring some of those ideas and some of the things that I've learned about that to you in these videos. This first tuba that we have is the Minel Weston 197-2 Fafner handmade tuba. Uh, this instrument is a beautiful designed instrument. As you can see, uh, it is a traditional Kaiser model tuba. The Kaiser model tuba design idea came around in the 1930s. Uh, it was built purely for projection across a large ensemble and a large volume of sound. Uh, typically you find it used in the Wagner operas, uh, which is the, the, the typical Germanic sound, also in Russian music and Czechoslovakian music. And that, that whole region of Europe, you will find the B-flat Kaiser model tuba is quite popular. Um, this is very traditional design. Uh, it has an 18 inch bell. On the Kaiser model rotary tubas, you will find uh, the 18 to 19 inches is about the size of the bell that you're gonna get. You don't get the large bells that you find in the piston model American style horns. Um, very large instrument, about 44 if, or 45 inches tall. So it's quite tall. Uh, just for example, I'm six feet tall uh, and this instrument fits me very well, but you can see that it's actually quite, quite large instrument. Um, as I said, though, this is a all handmade special order instrument, sheet metal made, so it's very thin construction. Uh, so even though this instrument looks gigantic, it picks up very easily. It's very lightweight, which makes the sound very responsive. Uh, and it has no problem projecting into a, into a large room and across a large orchestra, which is exactly what you want. Uh, the website at Minel lists this as an 846 bore. Uh, and uh, as I said, all handmade. Uh, some beautiful engraving on the bell that you can see is uh, just part of the attention to detail that Mino Weston puts into this horn. Um, the valves are fantastically quick. Uh, uh, I love the response on them. Uh, for, it, it's available in a two configurations. Uh, one is the typical four rotor valve configuration, which we have here. The other is a four piston and one thumb rotor valve. You can get that option as well. Uh, but for my money and for my, what I feel about this instrument, uh, you don't need the fifth valve. As you know uh, about tubas, the more tubing you put inside a tuba, the more stuffy it can get. And this instrument does not need a fifth valve. As I said, the slides move fantastic. One is here, three is here. Three is quite long. Three will come quite far out, as will one, and two is right here. Once uh, you can set this horn up to play all your B naturals and Cs with the one and three and one, two and three combination. Um, so, and then save the fourth valve, pull it quite far, and the fourth valve is right here on the back, very easy to get to. Uh, you can then set your horn to play Cs and B naturals one, two, and three, and save the, save the uh, fourth valve for the pedal tones, and uh, this will give you a really solid pedal C with one, two, three, and four. Uh, so uh, very versatile horn. You can set it the, way, the other way, the typical way that, uh, that many people set up four valve horns is to, is to uh, you know, compensate, play E flat one, two, and four, D two, three, and four uh, to compensate for the short tube. Uh, but uh, it doesn't need the fifth valve. The B natural, of course, is not there, uh, but it has a great induced tone, which I'll show you when we, when we get a chance to play it. Um, again, uh, this instrument is named Fafner. It's named for the dragon in the Ring Opera. Uh, there, of course, is the great solo that I'll play for you, but this instrument was designed as Fafner's voice. So uh, enough talking about it. Let me do a little playing and show you what this thing sounds like. Mm-hmm. 
So there you have it. That's my honest take on the Mono Weston Fafner 197.2 handmade four valve rotary B flat tuba. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what we did today. Uh, we are going to put, a, put out a series of these videos. Uh, if you're interested in what we're doing, make sure you click in the description below to find links to all the equipment that we try out. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, come back and see us often. Thanks for watching.